All right, let's roll. Get them all on. Nobody? Good, let's go. <laughs> you guys showed a lot of progress on these two weeks ago for this last Saturday. I guess, where do you think you showed the most progress moving that seven-day period? Uh, sh well, it played hard. It looked like they had, they had fun for a lot of the game. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff on the film. Not enough to win, but um, the old line played uh, much better. We got uh, quarterback play. We got him to, to uh, you know, get some first downs with his feet. He got two touchdowns running the ball. Um, Sean got loose on the run. I think uh, Ashton had some good runs there. And, you know, we got him to third downs and longs, and we, we made him drive, and we got him to punt, what, three or four times in the game. That was, you know, three or four times more than they'd punted all year. So we had some things there that we, we stayed in the game, and then we gave up a couple big plays there at the – Second half with defense, just I still young guys to eye discipline, and we gotta get that stuff fixed. If we're gonna win games. Can't give up those easy touchdowns like that. Well, I think they're just getting more comfortable with each other and and uh, how they're playing and playing together, and um, you know they they uh, they practice well and they played like they practice. That's that's usually how this works. Yeah, there's not a you know there's not an exceptional amount of designed runs in there, but um, there's there's looks and there's situations where uh, we're putting him, AJ, all those guys are putting him out on that perimeter where they can see, and uh, and giving them a run pass option. So if it's covered, they can pull it down and run. And if there's um, and if it's not, then if there's somebody open, they they get rid of the ball and then. Um, you know, down like down the goal line, the, we really tried to run it twice, and they were they had it so packed in that we called a run play and just told them to keep it. And uh, it's something he does um, to us in practice, you know. And he's hard to when he gets his shoulders around, and and you can't if you've got everybody packed in like that. He's got the athletic ability to beat guys in the open field, and he just outran their guys to the corner of the end zone. So. I don't know if there's an exact number. There's a lot of plays there that aren't designed for him to run, but there is an option there for him um, that if it's not uh, the look that he wants, that he can get yardage with his feet. And then the one play is just a uh, you know pass drop or a pass protection breakdown. He just took the ball and ran for touchdown. That's what he can do. So um, you got to mix all that stuff up. We certainly don't want our quarterbacks getting hit just like everybody else. But if you put them out where there's a run pass option, they can get four or five, six yards and slide down. Or if it's there, just keep running. I think that's uh, that's a very, very valuable part of an offense. Yeah, there, there's some of both of that. They've they've got um, they've got a scheme. They got a you know a, a scheme that was very similar to Incarnate Words last year, and it's it's also a scheme that's that they're just putting in down there. So there's not as many um, bells and whistles in it as Incarnate Word had. But I think uh, you know Coach Kenny and those guys do a really really good job with with what they have, and I'm sure they keep putting stuff in as they go you know it's got some some air raid stuff in there it's got the quarterback moving around and um you know they got four or five different running backs they they they've had some big scoring games they they hit big plays and we have to really uh we have to really slow that down and and keep uh, continuing to improve on defense Uh, he's fun to coach, you know. He's not a not a gigantic guy, but he loves to play the game of football. Um, he's he's fun to have it practiced uh, out there. He's he's brings the energy. He's the captain of the team. Um, he's got a really good infectious personality around the guys, you know. And he's and he's really got a lot of instincts. He he can he can read uh, plays really fast. He's got really good. Uh, intuition on that, like the the sack that him and Jackson got. Jackson was actually in the pass rush the other night and and was putting a little pressure on it. But then um, 
you know, the quarterback started to break the pocket and Drew is our low hole guy. We call him our low hole guy, this read and run pass. And once he hits it, he can go from point A to point B really fast. And him and Jackson got on a really good uh, scrambling quarterback really fast, got him on the ground. And those kind of plays, um, you know, you have to have athletic ability, but you also have to be able to read and, and you have to be able to go finish those plays when you get a chance. And Drew's got all those characteristics. And as he gets bigger and older and stronger, he's just going to get better and better. You know, he's just in the year that we've had him, he's, he's grown every time he goes on the field. Yeah, he just, I mean, he played a lot. That was probably the most plays he's played in a long time. And, um, you know, that was a really physical game for everybody that was out there. And, and uh, there at the end, his knee was um, a little tight and we didn't want it to get any worse. We had a lot of games left here and we didn't want to um, mess with that. We have, we have a, a good amount of linebackers and pass rushers that we can put in there that if guys are a little banged up like Davion the week before the week, we feel good about what we've got at that position, who can play. And we don't need to put guys out there that aren't 100% and have them get worse uh, in, a, in a long season like this. So he's fine. He's practicing. He's back. Um, we didn't, thank goodness, we didn't have, um, you know, just a, just a tired football team. That was, that was a really uh, physical and fun game to play. So we're just trying to get him back and ready to practice tomorrow. Yeah, he had a stinger. Yeah, you know, sometimes those guys, they, you got in a funny position, and and you get that little bit of uh, you know nerve pinching in there, and it makes your hand tingle. And and he didn't have full strength. And, and in a in a game like that with those big offensive linemen, we needed our guys at full strength, and we didn't want to put him in there um, with a with an arm that wasn't a hundred percent at that moment of time. It takes a little bit of time for that you know feeling to come back and all that, and it wasn't uh, ready to go for the game. He probably. You know, if it was a championship game in the Super Bowl or something, he probably could have gone back out there. But that's, again, when you haven't even got into your conference schedule yet, you got to make sure that, um, you know, your team is, is healthy and lasting throughout the whole season. So we uh, we felt like the guys that were in there behind him and, and Joe uh, Moyaki and those guys, Tanner Vaughn and Hunter Calpico, those guys get reps and they're in the rotation. So we just went with guys that were healthy and, and 100%. Yeah, we've been able to uh, now through spring ball, um, even last season, we've been able to have that unit together, um, you know, with one, one or two interchanging. But the base unit of that, they practice together for a long time now. And I think in the offensive line, more than in their position, obviously you got five guys working together. And Joey's a center guard, and then the other five guys that have played uh, most of the snaps this year. Um, they just played together. They know what each other are doing, and and you know Angus has got a really good scheme there. Um, with those guys, they're, they're 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 very tough, and they they enjoy playing the game. And they, I, I think, still in that unit. I, I'm trying to think. I'll tell. I don't think there's even a an upperclassman still in that group, but they played a lot of football together, and they'll continue to get better and better. Um, and we've got a, you know those young freshman guys are playing behind them too. So in the offensive line, I think. The more you play together, the more you know the movements of the guys around you. You know the toughness and what that guy's uh, communications are. They, those guys, they, they get used to each other, and they, they just get better and better. It's a position where you can't, like we had to last year, you can't be you know, moving guards to tackle, tackles to guard, centers to tackle, like that, how we had to just get through games. We haven't had to do that in, 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 a, in quite a while through uh, most of the late season, spring, and now into fall. So they'll, they, that's a... Yeah, I think that's a comforting thing for the offense to have that kind of continuity. It was tough in that game against Kansas where your defense really uh, stepped up and they weren't really moving the ball offensively going into a game like Texas State where you didn't put up so many points. How encouraged do you see what you saw from your defense Saturday that could lead to maybe similar success this year? Yeah, I think if they continue to improve and play like that and play with that kind of effort and intensity and and uh, we just clean up the eye violations that we're having. I think that defense has got a, uh, you know, again, it's a, it's a young defense. There's a lot of, lot of moving parts in it. We, we jump in out of a lot of fronts. And as those guys get comfortable and play the way they did the other night and just play free and have fun, we're gonna, those guys are going to get better and better as they go out there. And that's, you know, we've played, 
you know, probably three of the better offenses in the country if you look at yardage and what they do and all the, the trickery and the formations they give you and all the, the pressure they put on you play after play. Um, that'll help us later in the season when guys are used to, to all that stuff and, it's, and, you, and you get teams that don't quite do that much. Um, and they can really settle in that they're really going to boom as, as a defense, I think. So, um, you know, we're excited about what's going on with that side, both sides, really. Paul, what an win. Does it look like a step forward for the team on Saturday? I guess as the kind of additional jump in the step of the guys in practice this week, or is it? Yeah, we'll see. You know, we'll see how they how they practice. Um, you know, yesterday we practiced today. They're they're doing their. Uh, the other day off, so we'll see how we get them out there tomorrow. So, um, you know, it was a step; it wasn't a win, but um, you know, they they look like uh, they were coming together. And we've, you know, like I said, the two, the week before, um, you know, all of our goals are still ahead of us. The conference championship, every conference game, still ahead of us. All the things that we talk about as a team and what we're uh, what we're building is all still ahead of us. So we'll, I believe that um, you know, with that little bit of push and, and to see some success there against a really, really good football team, that can do nothing but help you going into the conference schedule. And, you know, once again, we're playing another team that, you know, I think that whatever they did, put 77 points on the board Saturday. So, I mean, it doesn't get much easier each time we go out there. So we'll see how it goes Saturday. But I think that's uh, something we can build on anyway. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't. We we'll played some really good teams, you know. With the, and the, I think that lends itself to um, probably the efficiency is just the big plays that we've given up that uh, I think will go less and less as these guys play together. But um, you know, that's a it's a hard duty to play those kind of guys early in the season, and when you give up big plays, you're gonna you're gonna pay for that against you know the Heisman Trophy winner and Jalen Daniels and. You know the guys that we've seen on the field, so um, we'll keep battling against uh, against all those things. Challenge of playing on the road. If you could break that down for us, you guys had that a couple times on TV. Yeah, I, I mean, some teams play better on the road. I mean, it's it, it, we keep our guys in the same uh, routine within reason, uh, no matter where we go. That's part of what we uh, pencil out in the summer. It's how. Um, you know, Jim Mastro, uh, Eli Miller, and my guys that, that set us up, we try to, to um, you know, do the same movements, the same practices, the same walkthroughs, no matter where we're at. The, we stay at a hotel when we're in here in town, and, and we have the same meal times, and we just try to keep it in the same rhythm, a routine. So, yeah, it's different when you go on the road, but, you know, it's also a, a matter of your team gets closer together when they're on the road and, and you don't have a lot of distractions. It's kind of why um, we stay at a hotel on Friday night. You limit distractions, you keep them together. So when you go on the road, those things happen. And then, you know, once once you get out in the stadium and it's and the game starts, you know, it's it's just, you know, it's, it's the same grass and, and the same game. So you try to, all the extra stuff, you try to make it as, same as, same as, so they can play. And, and uh, you know, to win, you got to win on the road. If you're going to win a conference championship, you got to win on the road. So um, I think guys, most guys enjoy it. We got a couple guys that are going home to Texas. That'll be big for them, you know. And, and we work with those guys about not trying to do too much and just having fun in front of your friends and family in your state. So we, we get that in California everywhere we go. So we'll see. Um, you know, it's a it's a little bit different on the time zones, but we play at six o'clock at night, so we're in the we're in the same realm there. It's not like going, um, you know, to Hawaii and playing a seven thirty game when it's eleven thirty your time or however that works over there. So, this is a little bit easier going west to east than than uh, west to farther west, I think. So, how similar or different is Jalen compared to the quarterback you've already gone up against? He's bigger. He's a uh, you know two hundred fifty five pounds, six seven. Uh, quarterback, he's played played in SEC football, and and uh, probably not as probably not as uh, receptive to getting out and running with the ball, but can stand in the pocket, um, 
like a lot of big quarterbacks can, can stand in there and take some punishment and see over offensive and defensive linemen. And he, he'll hold the ball for a long time until guys get open. He's got a really strong arm. And then they bring uh, you know Hornsby in behind him, who's you know, I think averaging 19 yards a carry or something like that. So they've got two um, different quarterbacks, but both very talented quarterbacks down there, I think. And their offense is, is receptive to um, you know the the air raid passing and the zone read stuff, so they both have their little plays in that system. I know it's a little bit outside your domain now, but you did recruit Robbie Smelling uh, when you were at Oregon, and you want to see find what's behind him with this new year in baseball. I guess what was your experience recruiting him? The kind of kid he is, and just yeah. Really so um, I recruited him like crazy to play linebacker for me at the University of Oregon, and. And uh, still stay in touch with him. His dad played here, um, was a, was offensive defensive lineman here. Um, you know, I stay in frequent contact with Robbie's. He comes around and works out here, and and uh, he's always asking for Nevada gear whenever he comes. I'm like, yeah, bring me some of your wherever you're playing there in Indianapolis, wherever you're playing now. So, very proud of him and and uh, his whole family. But uh, yeah, it's exciting to see how he's skyrocketing through. But um, you know, we he could have, he could have done the same thing in football. I would say he was a very talented athlete, very smart kid, loves to play sports, and he's been that way his whole life. So, hoping that he gets that award and and uh, stays healthy and you know does a has a great career.